channel uh, so i've been told that uh, the video the audio quality of my video is not that good so i'm actually screaming in this video i hope this works okay cool so let's start with the video and in this video what i'm going to show is how you can back up and restore your rds instances okay so let's get started let's go to our rds console i'm actually screaming So you, as you can see, I have created one RDS instance, my test DB using MySQL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my one of my EC2 instance, which I have running, and I'm going to connect to this database instance. So let's go to our console. So we are in my EC2 instance. I'm going to copy the endpoint which i need to connect to this is the endpoint and let's just do mysql hyphen h give it the endpoint now oh, sh shucks hyphen u admin was u uh, user was admin and hyphen p i'll give the password and we should be in so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to create a couple of uh, databases, just blank databases. So let's just do create database. Uh, backup one. Create another one. Backup two and create another one backup three. So now we have three databases in this uh, RDS. Let's go back to our RDS console. And what we're going to do is go back to database and actions. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a snapshot. And let's name it prod hyphen snap. So suppose you're taking the backup of your prod uh, instance, prod RDS, so we'll name it in that way. So let's just take the snapshot and it's giving me some error. Okay. So very clear from the error message that my status is not available. So I just created this uh, RDS instance. So it was just even, even in fact, it was not available. So you cannot do so a good uh, exam question basically. So you cannot do anything on RDS until and unless the state is available. So I'm going to pause this video and come back when my state is available. Welcome back guys. So now you can see my state is available. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Going to action, take snapshot, prod, snap, and let's do take snapshot. And this time you'll see there are no error and you're automatically redirected to the snapshots over here on the left and you can see that it's taking the snapshot. So snapshot is will not be available until you see this timestamp coming. So right now it's, it's, a, it's a blank, right? So I'm going to pause this video and wait for the snapshot to be available. Okay, welcome back. So you can see we have a timestamp in front of our snapshot. So now this snapshot is available to restore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my databases, action, and I'm going to delete this. I don't want to take any final snapshot because I already have a snapshot with me and I'm just going to say delete me. Why does it come in? Okay. I do this so it's not letting me delete this is interesting so I need to take the final snapshot any which way and let's do a delete anyway doesn't matter we already had a snapshot so sometime RDS does behave very strange so I'm going to pause this video again because deletion takes more time than creation so just have to wait so you can see guys, this is still deleting. It's been over seven minutes and 
the RDS is still deleting. But I just confirmed that if I'm able to log in into this instance and I was not. So that means that instance is gone. So we can just go ahead and start restoring it. Let it take its own sweet time to delete. What we're going to do is we're going to go to snapshots. This is the final snapshot which it took. It was not letting me delete. It hasn't happened before. It was the first time I thought, but whatever. So let's just go to prod snapshot, select it, go to actions and restore snapshots. So it's that simple, a few clicks. And with restoring snapshot, so the thing is that you cannot restore a snapshot on an existing database. You had to create a new database. So RDS will actually give you options to create a new database. So you like you can see here. So I'm going to select T2 Micro because this is a free tier account. Multi AZ no. Again, I'm going to give it say my restored DB so that we know that this is the restored one. Uh, this is public accessibility, no, no preference, uh, na, 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 da, 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 da. and everything looks good. So we're just going to do restore EV instance. So this is again going to take its own sweet time because it's like creating a new RDS instance. So I'm just going to pause the video and come back. Okay, so my RDS is in backing up state, so it's still not available, but I think we should be good to log in into this. So let's just copy the endpoint. Go to our console, well, fire the command again. And no, still not. Okay, so we're going to wait some time more. So let's try again. It's been a couple of minutes. So let's do it again. And I hope this time we should be good to get in. Yeah, so we are in. So let's just do show databases. And you can see the databases which we created backup one, backup two, backup three are in there. So with RDS, it's not like that you can back up a single database. It's like the backup of the storage basically it takes the snapshot of the complete storage to so backup of all the databases. So this is how you can basically backup and restore your RDS uh, instance. So let's just go back to RDS and see what's the state of my RDS. So is it available or still backing up? So it's still backing up. So this takes some time. Maybe it's creating some backups and it's basically pop populating the RDS to multiple subnets. So this is going to take some time. Creation does take some time. Hmm. So, okay. So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned how to take a, a backup and how to restore the backup from the snapshot. And I did take a manual snapshot. You don't need to take manual snapshot because you can schedule automated snapshot and your automated snapshot would be available over here. So this is it. And let's continue with our next lecture of monitoring RDS.